Hey, it's John. I just wanted to do a talk a little bit about the eastern larch tree or the tamarack. Um, this is a little little bit of a different sort of video. It's gonna be a few video clips and some pictures. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, There's an eastern larch right there. It's one of the last splashes of uh, color at fall time. The larch is an interesting tree. Historically, it's been used during times of famine as a survival food. Uh, people would peel the bark, scrape the cambium layer or inner bark off, and grind or pound it into a uh, powder and use it like a flour um, typically would make like a flat bread or porridge use it to thicken and stew um, so it helped keep people alive um, during lean times here's a close-up of a tamarack or american larch tree needles grow in little clusters like this um, the larch is the most cold hardy plant on earth. The eastern or American larch, uh, when you go to the tree line at the, at the Arctic Circle, you'll see the larch tree is just about the only thing growing. Maybe the odd uh, willow, uh, but larch, very cold hardy. Uh, it's a member of the pine family, um, so it grows... Uh, cones, like the uh, pine cone or the cones of other evergreens. Um, but it is one of only just a few species uh, that loses its needles during the winter. Um, so it turns a brilliant gold color during the fall. Uh, humans have used the larch tree historically, um, wherever a durable rot-resistant wood was needed, um, fish traps, uh, runners on dog sleds. Another name for it is the tamarack, which means the wood we use for uh, building snowshoes in uh, some Native American languages. So yeah, just a, a brief overview of the uh, larch. Thanks for watching. Uh, consider subscribing. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye-bye.